Your content management system consists of uh, three different templates. Uh, you don't need to worry very much about deciding which template is right for which folder because there is already a predefinition of a specific templates uh, according to the respective folders. So there is an option of uh, using a content page, which is most common and actually available in most of the folders. Then event page, which is a default template of the folder events and the contact page, which is a default template of the folder contact. Let's have a look now at the different types of templates and what you can do with them. Content page is the most common template that you can use for displaying more information about your activities, outputs or news. There are three text fields in a content uh, page template and each is editable. You are basically following the uh, same logic as with the editing of any type of content also on your home page. So if you are in an edit mode of the page, you can here edit the headline, subheadline, and a third field is the basically body of the text where you can also insert the image. You are also able uh, to insert a specific header image, ideally something which is thematically related to the text below. And this is done through the top navigation menu. You are following exactly the same steps as with the header of your home page. So here is the header picture. All you need to do is just upload the image you want to use and remember to press OK. Once you are done with the editing of the content, remember to save changes and always publish the page. Otherwise, the page will not appear on your home page or wherever you linked it. Event template is a default template of events folder. It is similar to the content page template, but it contains actually additional settings which uh, you do need to actually complete. Otherwise, this information will not be available in the search uh, function on the website. To use the project event template is recommended when you are trying to promote external uh, event for the outside audience. Page will also appear in the program website or in the event listing. So you have always a few different options of how you can display your events. But for the internal events, perhaps you might want to choose uh, text boxes to promote them on your homepage. For the external events, it is always worth to use the actual event uh, page template and remember to link it to the event uh, overview on your homepage. This way, this information will then be automatically listed on the program event listing. So as said, what is important is to complete this information as location, date, time, date, and uh, also some contact information, where is the event taking place and in which priority or topic it is, and then type of the event. Remember to save changes here. So you see the success if the changes has been saved. So once you are happy with the information you have provided, remember to save changes and publish the page. Of course, without event overview being linked on your home page, this page will not appear on your home page and neither in the listing on a program website. So do remember to uh, insert event overview into your home page. For more information, you can also look at the specific tutorial which is uh, dedicated to event overview tag. So then on the actual page, you will see that your event is already listed in this uh, calendar view. What is also important to remember that uh, this listing is going to be automatically inserted into the program event listing. And if you want your event to be clearly recognizable, it is very much advisable to use project acronym in your headline. So for the visitor of the program website, it is easy to understand which project this specific event relates to. Last type of template is the contact template. It is a default template of the folder contacts. It is very specific and all it is required here is for you to complete the information of the contact details of a relevant person. What you have to remember here is that once you created the page, same as for the event page, you also need to insert a contact tag into your home page. And only then you will see 
that all the information also appears on, on your actual home page. So if you wish to add a page into one of the folders, you need to follow the same simple steps as with creating a folder. Click on plus page, name your page, describe it. As you can see, the template has already been chosen. I am in a news folder and press OK. Automatically, the page will appear in the edit mode. And here you can uh, go about editing the content. There are a few other possibilities you can do with the page. If you decide that you want to change the name of your page, similarly as with the folders, go to the properties where you can change your name of your page. And remember always to save changes. As you can see, currently the page is in edited mode. If I am happy with the editing and press publish, the page will finally be published and available. The other options are that you can also simply delete the page if you wish not to use it anymore. Or alternatively, you can take it offline in case you wish to come back to this page and maybe use it later. Another option is you can copy the page. So in case you decide that this content is very relevant and you want to perhaps create a page which is very similar and you don't want to start from scratch, simply copy the page and, and start editing the content. Another uh, uh, option which you have here in the context menu is that basically each folder can have a start page. So in case you choose your new page to be a start page of the given folder, you need to click on folder start page.